Welcome to this quick video on managing your dock on a Mac. So if you use a Mac like me rather than a PC, you'll have a dock at the bottom that you can hide or unhide and then you can have certain applications pinned or unpinned and you can move them around really nicely. And I like to keep this nice and clear just so when I go in, it's really easy to use. And also when I'm not using it, I like to hide it so it doesn't get in my way when I'm working, especially if I'm working on one screen and it means I've got more space to work in. So I've hidden mine at the moment, but if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that it pops up and you can see I've got a number of different applications available. On the left hand side you'll see the ones that are pinned all the way to Camtasia and then you've got this little line and these are the ones that are more open and active. They may open when I turn my laptop on. I may have opened them since because I've been in Excel. So you can see Excel is in there and then any sort of applications that you've got open you've got windows open within those applications like i've got camtasia open and i've also got a browser window open with my youtube channel and i've got my rubbish bin they'll then be available on the right hand side so if you want to make some changes to this when you're in it you might want to right click and you'll see some options there so i've got turn hiding off because i'm actually hiding my my dock when I'm not using it. You can magnify it if you need to. You can change the position on the screen from the bottom to the left and to the right. And you can minimize using Genie or scale effect as well. But you've also got dock preferences. So let's just have a quick peek at dock preferences. It's gonna open up your system preferences. And again, you can go and access the functionality in there if you want to. You can change the size of it and things like that. But what you can do in here, if I just go back and close that and go back to my dock, is you can see there I've got some applications. If I want to remove them, all I'm just going to do is pull them and I'm going to take my calculator out and put it in the bin. And you can see there it says remove from dock. So I'm not deleting that application. I'm just getting rid of it so it doesn't appear when my dock shows. And let's say I use Excel all the time and at the moment it's in the section where my applications that I've opened will appear. But if I want to have that constantly in there, I'm just going to click on it again, click and drag. And because it's got something open and it won't let me do it. But if I just close Excel, just close that browser, close Excel, quit, quit it. You can see it still does stay there for the moment. So now that I've closed everything, if I click and drag it, it's now gonna stay there. So if I shut it down and then restart my laptop, it's gonna appear and it's gonna stick in my dock until I say tell it to go because it's in that part on the left-hand side that is always visible. So remember that's the bit that's always visible there. And if you want any of your applications to show up in your dock, then you want them there on the left hand side. If you don't want them to show up unless they've been opened, then just drop them in the bin. And every time you restart, you'll only have the applications that you show. I find this really useful to keep it nice and clear. I know everyone's totally different, but it makes my life easier when I've only got the applications that I would use on a daily basis, on a regular basis, and then everything else, I just tidy up and move and it makes my screen a lot less cluttered. And also really useful to hide it as well. So it might take you a little bit of a while to get into a habit, but if you do hide your dock, then all you need to do is move your mouse down to the bottom of the screen and your your dock will appear and you can access any of your applications. So please do give that a go if you use a Mac. Please do like and subscribe and let me know what videos you would like me to record next.